Hi everyone. Who have we got in? It's going to wait a couple of minutes just I jumped the gun a bit for uh, one o'clock. So we'll just see who's in. If you're in, say hello. I think I'm wonky as well. Here we go. Hi, LEB, and hi, hi um, Apple Jade Studio. Excuse me, I'm just drinking my tea. <laughs> My first tea of the day, my only tea I've had so far today. Right. There we go, I think people are coming in now. Before I start, how's everyone's sales been lately? Um, I think March was a bit of a hit and miss for some people. How was yours? Hi Richard, just asking about how your sales have gone in March, been good, been bad. Okay. Sales got overall in March, very slow over the weekend though. Yeah, it's been quite slow for me this weekend. I mean, I did have six go out this morning, um, but four of them was yesterday as well. So it was just a really slow one. Um, I did mention, I can't remember whose chat it was actually, but I did mention in somebody's live chat the other day, that because it, it was Mother's Day yesterday, so I don't know whether that kind of affected sales, that people weren't all sort of sat at home bored and just sort of, and through their phones and through their um through their ebay so the stuff i've got to show you uh in this video is literally just bits and bobs that i picked up on saturday i was going to do um a live video yesterday but because it was mother's day i thought people are busy and i thought you know nobody um nobody really wants to be sitting there watching me trying to show you some clothes that i bought so i'm just going to um, yeah, show you what I've bought that I've got on Saturday. So, two, I'm going to start off with some files to be fair. Again, not all of this, most of this I haven't looked into, haven't seen what it goes for. Hi, Ads, nice to see you. Um, so, I haven't looked at what all these go for. However, I did look at these. This is something, again, my good old dad, um, he picked up for me the other day. So, oh, they should be good. Didn't really see what they were, but he said they should be good um and they were these things um so it's got the braces on it here um, and they're by trespass so we just thought they'd be a bit decent um and my dad initially picked them up going oh they're waders now waders come with the wellies so i know that they're not waders but i didn't know what they were and i think a little bit more research we've realized that they are the ski trousers type thing um, so they're all right. I picked them up for, sure, yeah, never know, for a fiver. I picked them up for a fiver, and yeah, I don't think they're going to go for much. To be honest, they're probably at least tenner, maybe if that. I don't know. I don't know. So, so yeah. Hi, Becca. Nice to see you. Um, I don't think I think that's a bit of a fail, um, but. We didn't do a lot of research before, or well, we didn't do any research before we picked them up. We just assumed that it'd be good. Um, so we picked them up and then I saw some others and I went, oh, I found some more. So I picked up some more. But I paid £4 for these ones. Um, and this is the brand. I've never heard of this brand. I've never been skiing, so I have no idea about most things <laughs> but about skiing. Um, but again, they are the sort of same thing with the the uh, insides there so yeah but again probably about a tenner if that if they're the same size I might just pop them together but I don't think they are I think one's a large and one's a small so balls up on that one oh well 
Oh well. Um, I then picked up some some jeans, some Bowden jeans. I do like to look at the jeans lately. I've literally got stacks and stacks of jeans. Again, if you've seen my Instagram, I've been taking a lot of photos of jeans lately. And I paid three quid for them. Oh my God, it's light today. I paid three quid for them. And they're just so goddamn soft. But they're really, really nice. Um, I don't know what size they are. They're a size 10. I'm really tempted to keep them for myself, to be honest. But they're a size 10. Three quid. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably try it for about... 15 20 pound for those i don't i really don't know i'm literally just guessing for you today absolutely guessing um i picked up these as well these were three quid three quid on here um and they're joe browns oh my lord some joe browns one this was a really really expensive charity shop um and i literally picked up one thing because there was nothing else there that was worth of interest but um yeah it's kind of got the logo all over Oh my lord. And then all over here. Yeah, that's all I do. I just make up the price. I always do. I see people on YouTube going, I'm going to put it on for this particular amount. And I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Just whatever. As long as I make more than three quid, I'm all right. Generally, I like to do... If it's... If I see an item in a charity shop and it is... I like to go something less than a fiver. Generally, I'm going to completely kick myself in a second because that's not what I've done here. But I generally like to go something more, sorry, less than a fiver. So, and then, but if for some reason in my head, I think if I'm not making something about 25 to 30 pound, I'm not interested. And I don't know why. I don't know why I don't do that. Because... If I bought it for two quid and I sold it for ten, I'm still making some decent profit anyway. But I think because of my limited storage, um, I'm trying to keep really sort of more high-end items rather than um, sort of a couple of quid items. And because I do free postage as well on most of my items as well, I um, I don't find I find that obviously I've then got to take off two pound eighty for that, and then obviously my other packaging parts, not a bit of everything. So putting things up for a tenner for me just doesn't really do it very well for me so yeah so three quid i'm not even going to try and guess don't know 14 pound i don't know no idea hi Gemma Lou. okay so this is the one that i just said i'm going to shoot myself in the foot for because um i picked up this now this brand i've seen around a lot um oh uh viella i've seen around a lot but never sold it before um it was 14 pound 95 and the reason i picked it up is because it is a set so you've got this oh lord this long dress with this sort of um spotty pattern on the top and then it also then comes with a matching blazer as well so matching blazer and dress together this is why i like to edit my videos i just keep saying that matching blazer and dress together like that and i thought that's so smart I could probably put that up for about 30 40 pound maybe i don't know so yeah pay 15 quid so we'll uh, see how that works out um where are we god everything's all just piled up i literally threw it here on saturday and haven't touched it since the next one i paid oh god why should i pay that much I think, again, I think it was, if you, again, if you'd see my Instagram, uh, this is literally all I'd be referencing. Uh, but if you'd see my Instagram the other day, I went to Weatherby uh, up by Leeds and it was just so, so expensive. It was a lovely, lovely place, but so expensive. Um, but picked up this Laura Ashley uh, dress. I don't really pick up Laura Ashley that much because I don't really find that it sells like much. But um, it cost me £7.95. But it's a really, really nice, just a plain dress, usually with... Um, Laura Ashley, I find that it's all got to be really extravagant and things like that. But I thought this is quite nice and simple um, with this sort of feather print on it and just long sleeves. It's kind of more of an autumn dress, but whatever. <laughs> I'm sure it'll go. So £7.95, probably put it up for £25, £30, maybe. I don't know. Hi, Mark. You finally caught me on a live. I don't I've literally only done two before, so 
it's not that special and I don't really know what I'm doing either so it's it's all good um I then picked up this Roman Originals dress there's some more the vintagey label on that a size 14 I paid six quid for it but my head initially just straight away went to mother of the bride and that's literally what I'm looking at at the moment I don't know why um but it's oh bloody hell <laughs> so long I feel like I should do this portrait next time so it's a really, really long uh, dress, but it kind of splits off in the middle. So it looks like it's a top and a skirt, but it's not. It's kind of, oh, it's gone all blurry. There we go. It's kind of a, it's a dress, but then has a sort of overlay. So it looks like a top and a skirt, some funky sleeves. And it did come with a little scarf thing, which seems to have vanished. It's all very silky that I've bought, so it's all kind of gone. Gone away, don't know. It'll be here somewhere. But yeah, it's just basically this material again. It's like a little scarf thing, so. Yeah. Don't know. How much did I buy? Six pound. Six pound. Don't know. <laughs> 25 quid, something like that, maybe. I don't know. I really don't know. It's literally all I'm going to say today, is I just don't know. However, I know this one. I know this one because I, I did research this one. Um, <laughs> going all over the place today. Whistles. Uh, I picked up a couple of whistle stuff before and that does really sell quite well, actually. Um, and I paid £5.95 for it. This is actually one of the cheaper ones that I bought uh, on Saturday. And it is absolutely gorgeous. And I wish I had somewhere to wear it too. But it's this lo lovely sort of light blue lacy dress. Uh, little short sleeves on it as I paid 5 95 and they go for about 50 60 pound so I was really really happy with that such an elegant dress and because with weddings coming up and um, races all that sort of stuff I think that will hopefully get the money and go out soon as well I'll be really really chuffed if I can get that for that um, but yeah it's really really gorgeous I did do some research on that one because I was intrigued by that one um oh my lord Ooh. what have we got here oh one of the whistles but an older uh, label so it's kind of the older label on that one um why i don't know why i was going off on one today seven pound i paid for this i literally about five minutes ago sat here and said i don't generally pay more than five pound an item yet i'm massively massively contradicting myself now I don't think I've got anything that's less than a fiver. <laughs> don't know. Um, but it's this, I don't know. It's kind of like a chiffon -y material with like this velvet roses all over it. Um, it's quite pretty. And because it's whistles again, like I just said, I do find that it sells quite well. It's a size 10. But it's like, it's a weird looking dress. It's like tunic -y type of thing. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, and then sleeves. Yeah. So seven quid, I really don't know, try for 25-ish, something like that maybe, I don't know. Okay, now I paid £12 for this one, I'm literally all over the place, £12, but I paid £12 because it is brand new with tags and it is from Monsoon. So it's from Monsoon and I see that it's goes for originally £85 so I'm thinking I could probably put that up for about £20-£30 but then when I got it home I noticed that um, it's got some writing on here now I've done this with another dress that I've sold before um, and it did have you know it's been marked down so what I'm I don't know if this is naughty or not but I'm going to put a sticky label over the top of where the um, sale price is and then colour it in like a gold colour so it looks like it's supposed to be there. Um, I don't know. Because, I mean, it says on there £25.50. So, so, obviously, if that's how much I sold it for in the end, then I'm not exactly lying about a price. But, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's a bit hit and miss, to be honest. Um, most monsoon things sell quite well. But it depends. I mean, it's like a lot of other stuff. Um, like you've got Bowden, you've got um, Roman. I'm trying to think what else I've got. 
phase eight as well phase eight is a very hit and miss one um so i'm not quite sure if i can get ink remover erasers but to remove like this sort of ink off just like a ballpoint ballpoint pen i don't know because well when they write onto it they sort of like like to dig into it when i will look into it because it's just a shame that it's blatantly obvious it's in the sale but hey ho but yeah, anyway, I didn't even show you what it looks like. It's just a plain black dress. This little netting. Oh my days. I don't know what's going on here. What is going on? Ah, it was stuck. So it's kind of like a netting thing and it's sort of layered. It's got different layers. I don't know if you can see that very well. But it's layered along it. So it is quite pretty. So I'm hoping, as I say, to get sort of about 30 quid for it or something like that. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. I thought initially I sharpied the one that I had previously. I just put a sharpie down the bottom because it was down the bottom. It wasn't so noticeable and it just looked like it was part of the label. But um, but because I like to dig the pen in, it's obvious that I've tried to cover something up. So I don't know, I'll, I'll have a look into it. Um, this one, I don't know why I picked this up, to be honest. Hang on, ads. you're too impatient. You're too impatient. You've got to save the best to last. Um, oh man, the label's been cut off it. So uh, Jacques Vert dress, um, paid seven quid again, but I don't know what size it is now. It's probably it says it's a size sixteen, so it must be on a care label somewhere. But some someone's ripped it off there. Um, I don't know why I picked this up. I think again I was in that sort of frame of mind with the mother of the bride thing, um, or just generally wedding stuff. So it's quite a nice little lilac-y thing but it's just a weird like an animal print but then with these lines going down it and this ribbon for sleeves for straps even it's so strange but then it's got this oh god you really can't see that it's got a rubber um trim around it so it holds it up so i don't know to be honest seven quid a lot i shouldn't have paid that but i was in that sort of frame of mind thinking yeah i can easily get 35 quid for that but i don't know I was just buying everything, buying everything. Um, Bowden. Oh my days. Bowden. Paid. <laughs> Didn't pay less than a fiver, but I paid a fiver on the dot. Um, but I thought it was quite nice. It's got these little beads all over it. I did sort of stand there for a good minute and inspect it, make sure all the beads are there. They are, but then. When I got it home, then I noticed that some of the beads are there, but they just need to be stitched back on again. So I'll just get get my needle and thread out and do that because it's it's just as messy inside on the back anyway. So it's not like it's something that I can I have to kind of awkwardly do. But that's nice and simple. So Bowden, I don't generally pick up all Bowden stuff um, because it doesn't always sell that well. But I thought this was a bit different. It's got the beads on it and whatever, and I paid a fiver probably get at least 20 25 pound for that right let's take a mid stop and look at some hats because i feel like ads is going to get impatient and i'm going to get some very very bad comments afterwards i'll show you one i'll show you the one that's in my thumbnail um this is it's really weird because it's the actual hat part it's gone all like Winkly. I don't know, it's really weird, but it's quite a, a stiff hat. Um, it's by, I don't know if you can see it, can you see that? Whiteley. It's by Whiteley, I paid £4 for it, had no idea, but again, because of, if you'd seen my video, well, I think it was my oh, uh, number four charity shop haul video, um, I bought that Jacques Vert set with the hat and the fascinator and stuff, so that's why I'm kind of going all Mother of the Bride thing because I've got like 15 odd um, watches I couldn't think of the word 15 odd watches on there oh Andrew's in just spying probably haven't probably not even watching um so it's just a bit wonky here I don't I don't think that's intentional at all so I'm gonna have to kind of like iron that out but anyway this hat I think people are selling it for about £40-45. Um, it's very, very sort of elegant 
looking hat um again one of the ones that you'd wear to the races or something like that i don't really i don't know never been to the races so i <laughs> don't know um but yeah so about 40 45 pounds something like that for this hat um but because i was in the zone of hats um i then picked up any other hat that i saw as well you do get in some charity shops people trying to sell the hats and the fascinators um and but it's actually their own brand or something like that put ladies down your toes oh i'll give that a go definitely for just for this hat this kind of one just for ladies day because that's more of a racy sort of one isn't it okay uh this one i don't really know if these suit me to be honest i don't really get but this one again a bit more of a wedding sort of hat it's got these um flowers on the front and this netting um it's by east x Let's see if you can see this without uh knocking over the camera there we go so it's by east x um so i'm hoping it would do well but i did do a bit of research on it and it about 15 quid if that yeah not quite sure five pound fifty paid for it not very well this don't show hats it's not really working very well five pound fifty as you say, yeah, very mother of the bride. Um, I feel very elegant wearing this, but I don't know. Apparently I suit hats, but I don't wear hats at all. Um, and I've lost my last one. I've only got three. Ah. So this one is, this one cost me, oh my Lord, five pound. I don't know why that one cost me four and five pound fifteen. This one was five pound. I don't know. Um, but it's from BHS. VHS. Uh, I tried to pick up ones that are actually from a company, they're not just some random brand on there. I don't have a hat stand for them. Um, I'm not really quite sure. I did see somebody on Instagram actually the other day with a one of those modelling heads that you would probably do hair on or makeup on or something like that. And I thought I might get one of them because if, if I am trying to pick up a lot more hats and stuff as well, it might be a bit better because I don't think anyone would want to see me trying to model something like this on ebay so um you can't really see that very well but i've got to go into the white box but yeah it's just that again another sort of mother of the bride kind of hat um it's kind of got this bow design at the back and then just around the front it's just netting and silk on the middle so yeah but again i searched for it and it was probably about 10 15 pound again so i'm thinking wow you know let's buy hats because of that other hat that i bought um on my other video which which if you haven't seen oh dear if you have seen it then it's fine but for reference right now this was the one i bought before um and this is the Jack Burt one. Andrew, you said you were going. So you either go or you don't spam my chat with TSD. I agree. But you don't spam my chat. Um yeah, so this one was a little bit different. I don't know whether it goes that way or that. I really don't know. I don't no, I think it's that way. Um so this can sell for about £70 or something like that. So they're a lot more elegant, but so I'm thinking, you know, all, all, yeah, all wedding hats would do well. You know, they're, they're not that far off in similarity, but about 10, 15 pounds. So it's a bit hit and miss, but because it's coming up to um, wedding season and stuff, I thought, let's give them a go, let's buy them. And hopefully they will um, budge a little bit quicker. So I don't know. Um back to the clothes so ads if you really want to go because you've done the hats now so if you know if that's all you were here for then off you go hi mel nice to see you hi south london reseller oh tea break oh dear um the next one i picked up here was bowden just a plain 
little skirts from that. Uh, again, another expensive charity shop, but um, I picked this one up for four quid. So, um, yeah, again, I'm literally just going to do the same thing. I don't know how much to put this one up for, but it's got pockets, and that's one of the reasons I really tried to pick it up. I like dresses with pockets, I like skirts with pockets. I don't really wear skirts myself, but when it's got pockets, I just feel like it's a winner. Um, so it's got this kind of flory sort of pattern on it. This is forever going to go blurry. What size is it as well? 14, 14 long. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Pay four pound, probably about 20 pound on that. Possibly. This one again, this one was something that I picked up literally at the end of the day before all the charity shops were closing. Um, but I paid 4.99. Um, and it's closet again if, if you'd seen my other videos I do mention I do like this brand it does sell quite well for me it's a size 10 and super super lovely um, it's just this lovely grey plain dress um, but I like the little features it has on it you know on the zip it's actually is it going to focus I don't think it's going to focus just trust me it says closet on it if you haven't seen it <laughs> so it says closet actually on the zip as well and I just find that there's just these little little bits about it that I just quite like. Um, but the reason I do like these dresses as well, because generally they have pack they, ooh, they have pockets on. Um, so for example, this one that I also picked up from the same shop. Oh, I was gonna say I didn't think it had it then. Uh, they've got pockets. I absolutely love a, po a dress with pockets. Um, so yeah, and it, again I thought it was quite summery, it's got these little butterflies. Um, is it butterflies? God, I can't even tell. Or they're just floral. I don't even know. I literally just picked it up. You will, lads. I just need, just need to uh, delve into the women's clothing. Yeah, so you really can't see that. This is closet on it, and I picked this one up for six ninety nine. I don't know why I picked this up for six ninety nine. Again, I only really like to go five pound or less, um, but it's a size twelve. Um, I have a lot of love for this brand. This was the brand that I uh, first made my first good bit of money from, um, even though it was literally like fifteen pound. <laughs> and I think I bought the dress for two or three quid. But that was—it's kind of a personal thing for me. Um, but yeah, it's quite a cute little dress. It's got this little belt on it. So hey ho. So seven pound, twenty-five pound, something like that. Oh, there's that scarf thing from earlier. There we go, that's all it is. Just goes with the dress. Just a little, I don't really know. I feel like an old lady now wearing that. Yeah, um, and then, what have we got here? What is this? Oh yeah, a suit. I picked up a suit. Um, I saw it because it was in the sale rack. I picked it up uh, for a fiver. So it was £10, picked it up for a fiver. Um, and it's a suit, so suit jacket and trousers. I don't know what size it is. So 42 chest um, for the jacket and a 38 waist for the trousers. So, and there was just something a bit special about it. I thought, I thought it was a bit different. So, and then I looked into it. I did actually research this one. Um, it's called, oh dear, Without Prejudice. So Without Prejudice and yeah, so I bought it for a fiver. I can't remember much. I think it was about forty-five, fifty pound that they've these have sold for previously. Um, so suit jacket and trousers. Um, yeah, that should be all right. I've got no room left to put all this stuff. My room is a tip. You might not be able to see it here. It's all here on the floor yeah just trying to hide it all um i then picked up some levi's uh for 3.95 seen levi's all day long for about six seven pound i don't like definitely don't like to pick levi's up for anything less than a fiver even though i do make sort of anywhere between 15 20 15 and 25 pound on a pair of levi's but i just generally um don't like to pick them up for anything less than a fiver but 3.95 if you'd seen my instagram post the other day um it was just it wasn't so much of me saying i need help to identify if these are fake or not specifically but i was just having an absolute mare because 
Levi's just like to give different labels. And I picked these ones up and these were, it's a white label. And I'm just looking at thinking, is it fake or not? And then I check all the other bits. So I check all the studs, I check behind the button, all those other little bits. Everything else in, seems genuine. So, and I saw that and I thought, oh, I don't know. So 3 95 everything seems genuine about it. So, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so 3 95 I'll probably put them up for about £20. They're a little bit tatty on the bottom, but not too bad, to be honest. So it's all good. Yeah, I checked the numbers. I, just one thing I've been doing. So it's a 504. And then, see, it's a different number on the back of the button. which So I need to just double check it with my other um, jeans. But it's obviously got that bit in the on the pocket. But I find that as well, when you look at the label inside, um, this long number here, it says 504 there. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. No, is that, no, there, there they are. Yeah, so it says on the, on the tag and it says it here. It says everywhere. Um, but just the button's a bit weird, so I just need to check over that because apparently some people are saying on the back of the button, on the main button, there that that number there should be the same as the one of the 504s um but i haven't found a pair of levi's that do that so i don't know this is why i was literally having a mare the other night because i couldn't try and figure out what's real what's not and i think i only figured out that one of the things that i bought was a fake it was i think it was a fake tommy hill figure the number on the button needs to match the wash tag oh i'll have a look in a bit I'll be there all day. I don't think everyone needs to see me look and get a pair of jeans. Um, I got this Joe Brown's dress, size 12. Picked this up for £4. Um, I generally don't always go for Joe Brown's, but if it's just a little bit different than I do, um, it's just kind of a plain jersey dress. It's nothing special at all. It's really, really thin. All these buttons at the top. Um, but... Four pound, probably about 17, 20 pounds, something like that. Um, and then, again, this I think this was my last purchase of the day as well. And also the last one that I've got here. Um, it is a coat for four pound. Now, literally it's the only coat I bought. So I, uh, I think I'm allowed to have one coat. And it's a thin coat as well. So it's not too bad um yeah but when i saw it in the shop i noticed this label here um and it doesn't say the brand anywhere else and i thought that looks a bit bodeny to me so but i couldn't see it anywhere i'm thinking is that why they put it up as four pound um and then i opened up all the buttons and then at the bottom it says that it's Bowden and it's a size 14. So, yeah, I was really happy with that. So, £4 for a Bowden coat in absolutely excellent condition. Oh, dear. It's got this lovely floor print in the background. Sorry, in the, in the lining. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm not very good at holding all this up today. Oh, dear. So, yeah, probably get about... £35 possibly for that. I don't know whether it will sell because it's the wrong season, but it is a really thin jacket, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, that is it from what I picked up on the weekend. However, this is literally this is only one thing. Oh, and I bought some more ties. This was this was two weeks ago um, when I went to Wales for the day. I went with my family, so I didn't really get to go. Um, and have a look at charity shops but I did venture into one and wandered off um it's this I got just a plain pink spotted tie there just three plain ties nothing special about them but I like to pick up ties at the moment um and I literally have about 40 odd ties in this drawer here I showed you on the last live I'm not going to try and get it out again it's just to add to my collection so I can do some bundles and stuff on there um, and then also from that other charity shop, and then I'll be done. This is the last one now. So this was two again two weeks ago. Um, what is going on? Pants or trousers? Pants or underwear? 
Well, pants to me, pants are underwear. But then if you're American, then pants are trousers. As far as, far as I'm aware. I never say that I'm wearing pants, like as in as in trousers. Um, I, you know, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to carry on with that because otherwise I'm going to go somewhere different. Uh, I paid eight ninety nine for this, um, and it is a Laura Ashley set. Now that's just the jacket, and then I've got this, ooh, this lovely green dress. I love selling green. I just think it goes so nicely. Um, but it's got Laura Ashley printed throughout it. Can't really see that very well. It's got Laura Ashley printed all throughout. It's a really, really long, long dress here. It's kind of a vintagey look to it. Um, so, and it, yeah, I say it comes with the jacket. Oh my days! Let's get this right. This is why I like to edit my videos. And I keep saying it. There you go. So. Let's just put that down. <laughs> so it's the dress and the jacket is going all over the place today. Dress and jacket, pay $8.99. I really don't know how much to put up this for. Probably going to try for about £40, to be honest, because it's quite a vintagey look to it. And it's green and it's a long kind of ball gown kind of dress. So I'm going to try for about £40, but whatever i don't know i paid nine quid so so yeah that is it that is it for my charity shop haul that has been 37 minutes so that's not bad northerners northerners call them pants i don't know any northerners that call them pants oh i don't know i don't think i agree pants are pants pants are your underwear I don't know I don't I don't think but then what do you call so you literally just say about underwear pure underwear you don't say pants you would call them underwear that's just strange see Andrew says that the trousers oh no so you're saying pants are trousers never heard northern or called trousers pants there you go bye apple jade thank you very much for coming school runs it's only 25 to 2 do you call them boxes oh, i don't know i like the word pants for my underwear it's just a generic kind of thing pants are not trousers oh man i think i have to kick some people out i also don't have any um spanners in my chat I did promise Andrew that he could be a spanner. Um, I actually promised people who ever guessed what KLC stood for um, could be a spanner, but Steve decided to guess that correctly. So, um, yeah, I don't think anyone in here deserves it, especially those people who are calling pants trousers. They're definitely not going to get it, are they? Mm. Yeah, pants are underwear, definitely, definitely. So I did ask at the start of the video, but this was literally no one was really in the chat at this point. But how has everyone's sales gone for March? Um, I'm, I just realised literally yesterday that it's the end of, uh, of March. And I thought, oh, I've got to now do my um, sales video. So I planned that this morning. So hopefully going to film that today or tomorrow. It depends. There's usually dogs barking their absolute heads off because where my camera set up I'm literally on my windowsill and dogs are usually barking their head off and it's an absolute quiet day today so I might take full advantage and film my sales video after this video um hopefully but I don't know um so I actually looked last night and my figures for March were better than my ones for February so I actually did better and sold more in March but um it didn't feel like it i don't know why it didn't feel as good as february february just flew i think february my january to february was massive 
the difference so it felt like I'd improved a lot but my March to my February to March even was only quite small I think it was about £100 or something I made more in March compared to Feb so it didn't feel like I'd really made a lot I think I was just kind of it was kind of the odd sale here and there so it was a bit a bit hit and miss but apparently according to my figures I made more than I did in February but it didn't fit it just didn't feel like it so Andrew had sales every day in March apart from yesterday that's probably because it was Mother's Day that's what I'm going that is exactly what I'm going with it's just Mother's Day nobody wanted to buy anything yesterday it was exactly the same as December Jan and February so your March ones are exactly the same as they have been for the past couple of months. That's a bit of a shame. And I'm sure that I've seen some of your videos as well before, Mel, but you know, you've ramped it up a lot more. So I'm hoping you get some good ones. I'm hoping you have a good April. Um, Mark, your Mar March was your best month. You've only been full time since December. I've only been full time since January as well. So, um, Kind of very similar kind of ones there. I'm just ignoring whatever Rich is going to talk about now. <laughs> it's pants or trousers. What are trousers then? Yeah, that's just confusing things now, Richard. Oh, okay. Fair enough. You did no work in March compared to other months. That's, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. I've got my new, I'm kind of casting off my phone and got my laptop set up here because the chat that comes up on here is just so fiddly. So I've kind of got my laptop set up with the chat. That's why I'm kind of looking completely the wrong way. So Richard, you had two sales yesterday. £100 sale though, that's really, really good. Well done. Um, seven sales all weekend. I only, I had six, I had four yesterday. Um, and I was literally last night, I was just about to print off my labels, ready to pack up the post that needs to be done today. And then someone sent me an offer for something. And I sat there thinking, oh, wait a minute, because I've counter offered them. So if they accept, then obviously I can print off their label too. And then it just sort of sat there for a minute. I thought, oh, I don't know this person's going to buy it. So I ended up doing it this morning instead. So. All right, all right, calm down. I don't know. I don't think I know who would deserve to be a spanner, to be honest. Ooh break and everything or can put a user in timeout it's interesting Ooh. might put people in timeouts why do you deserve one ads Let's have a look who else can deserve one so andrew you're getting a spanner but to be fair though really i should have waited until i get a, to be a spanner on yours to be honest this is literally my only um my this even whoa this is my second live video um so i'm kind of just not knowing what i'm doing to be honest so I only literally, I think the first live video I watched, I can't remember who it was, and I thought, why is everyone blue? Why is everyone, why have people got blue names and I don't have a blue name? Um, I had to Google it because I had no idea what it was. Um, so I don't know. I'm never, I'm never paying attention. You're not about me. I'm never paying attention. Am I going to do them every week? I did one last week. Um, me and Andrew have got this kind of bet on to say that I won't be doing lives every week. Um, but it seems that it's happening every week. <laughs> um, but it seems that every Saturday I go out and I do a live haul. Um, that doesn't make any sense. On Saturday, I go out and I do my sauce on a Saturday. I usually do, I used to do them on a weekday because obviously nobody's out and everyone's sort of working or at school or whatever. But because my dad 
uh, works during the week I then go out with him on a Saturday and then it's kind of a nice sort of day out that we get to have we get we drive a couple of hours away um, to a new town somewhere we've never been before we'll do a bit of sourcing then we'll come home so I kind of like to if if I've bought a lot like I have today for example then I'll do a whole video for it I used to just do an actual video and film it and edit it and all that sort of stuff but I quite like the interaction where people go that looks terrible you'll get a tenner for it <laughs> and then he also like the ones where it's, somebody says well I've sold that before you get a little bit more interaction a little bit more um help with some of the items that you've you've never picked up before um a bit more than the whole videos and I, I'm still in the background I'm sure that somebody's there listing away and I'm just sort of nattering on in the background um you get two points I thought you were saying that I would get two points if I did live videos. I don't think, I don't know if I get the, uh, if I'm getting this now. I was actually going to go to Chester. I was actually, actually going to go to Wrexham about two weeks ago. My dad mentioned it and he said, oh, let's go up to Wrexham. That's where we should go. And literally, I think the day before, Andrew, you had mentioned on your Instagram or something saying it was rubbish, had a rubbish day. So I'm kind of glad that I, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't go up there. I'm sure that I should be getting the two points if I do my lives every week up until the meetup. You're not listing your cleaning in the night garden toys. Oh, now where, do, where have they come from? Was it a car boot pickup or was it um, Facebook Marketplace? I find, yeah. With the with the toys like that, I find that they get really you kind of it's really hit and miss um, with toys sometimes with that because it's you think oh that's fine it will clean up and then when you get it back and actually you're trying to clean it it just doesn't doesn't really go. Oh, thank you very much, South London reseller. I don't really do it so much on Instagram anymore because I don't know. I find that with YouTube. It kind of takes it away and, and Instagram's a bit funny because when you're watching somebody's live video if you accidentally come out of it and go back into it you have no idea what the rest of the chat said it was just really really confusing you're still getting the option to use 30 day listings not just good till cancelled that's interesting actually I forgot actually that that comes out today it's a good till cancelled I always use um good to cancelled anyway so this bit hasn't affected me everyone's kind of gone a bit crazy i understand why people do it i think people are saying that they like to have it ending after 30 days so then it becomes like a new listing and it's a bit higher ranked in the search or something like that i've always just used good till cancelled i've never never done it any other way i've tried a few auctions um i will mention it in my sales video that i did the other day that I'll be doing today or tomorrow. Um, I did a couple of auctions and they've just been rubbish for me. They've not got me as much as I hoped. Um, I've seen other people do auctions and they've got a fair bit of money from things, but for my auctions, it was just things that I've had since the start and it just hasn't budged. So I tried to do that and I've literally just made like two quid or something. It's just not that much, but um, it's something that I'm still playing around with. Everything for me is on a bite now. It was good to cancel it just goes round and round and round um yeah exactly becca i've always just i can't waste time just kind of going <laughs> gotta redo it. i mean i understand that people like to check on them thinking okay they haven't sold after 30 days what can i do can i reduce the price or can i um improve it some way but generally a lot of the times you've got to really think about why have you listed something in august that's now sold in um january why you know and say if it's not a good till cancel just rolling over and you haven't changed anything why is it now sold in january well it's just obviously because there just might not be somebody looking at it at all you know the many times that we've bought things ourselves from ebay and you probably think well that's probably been sat there all that time um anyway so you're that like person that's just picked it up because you're the one that just felt like buying it so i don't know that's just my little <laughs> my little thing but i don't like having the worry of faffing around every 30 days to try and try and sort that out um i'd love chester for sauce and that's the brands uh just make sure make sure you get invited too 
Oh, I don't know. Apparently I'm buying you two pints if I do this every week. So I don't know what, what's in it for me anymore. Richard, you started an auction last night. You got a bid this morning. Wow. Is it a seven day auction? I only find that I only really get bids um, near, right, right near the end. All them sort of snipers that like to snipe things, um, which I have no issues with. But you just kind of sat there. I've got an auction in, in tomorrow or Wednesday. I don't know why I did it midweek. The last time I did it, I did it on a Sunday and I sold about six or seven items, only for little bits. And then for some reason I started it on a Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday. I don't know. I don't know. Everything does sell eventually. Hi, Chris. Nice to see you. I say that. Nice to see you. I've, I've said that several times today, but I, I can't see any of you. I can see your conversations. So, so yeah, seven day. And then that's quite good, actually, the fact that you got a bid already. But some people as well like to um, put in their maximum amount and then obviously if they get knocked off um, halfway through, then that's that's that then, isn't it? Three points? No. No. I really don't know. I don't think, I don't know why you think I drink either. Maybe I just want to sit there and drink a cup of tea, like I am now, being really rude and drinking a cup of tea while I'm talking to you. It's cold, so jokes on me um yeah i'm hoping that i'm hoping hoping that most of you are coming to the reseller meetup um at the end of the month um i probably do drink what's that supposed to mean <laughs> that is just rude that is just rude i haven't been clubbing drinking that kind of thing since i was at uni so that was that was many many years ago but I can drink, I can drink, but I don't, it depends. I think I will, obviously I'm sure, almost certain I will be drinking in Bristol, but um, I don't know to what extent, depends. Depends on how many pints Andrew's gonna buy. But alcohol is brilliant when you when used correctly, to an extent. Um, Dave's gonna be at Bristol. Chris, I assume that means that you're coming to Bristol, which should be good. What kind of things do people, and this is completely gone off reselling now, but what kind of things uh, do people like to drink? Um, this is because for me, I used to, when I was younger, used to drink cider, always used to drink cider, um, but I would literally have a pint and then I was gone. I was completely gone, but it was obviously when I was more um 17 18 something like that yeah about 17 18 18 i don't even know how old i was at this point i don't know it was when i finished college and um i had a drink and then i was just literally like yeah but now now i'm not really that much of a cider fan um, i can drink it still but i enjoy a cocktail it just tastes like pop to me then it just tastes like a nice fruity um a fruity drink and then with a bit of a nice bit of uh alcohol in it so andrew you like cider ads you don't drink you definitely don't drink or is that just you don't like to drink or you just don't like don't drink at all uh becky you like rum i'm with you on that one i do quite like rum see chris i've never really had gin I've had a bit and it's not bad, um, but I've never really, I don't really know what I'm doing because everyone usually has gin and tonic and I don't know whether I'm really a fan of gin and tonic, um, but yeah. Captain Morgan spiced and Coke. Yes, definitely. I agree with that one. Rum and Coke. Love it. Um, you're not paying for cocktails. Well, I'm not doing live videos. Simple as it's it's a two way thing, Andrew. It's a two way thing. So it depends because I mean to be fair, if it's because it's weather spoons, I think isn't it in Bristol, and they usually do the pictures, and that's me. Then if I have, I buy myself a picture, I'm set for the night. Well, or for about an hour, if that, until I need another one. But yeah, yeah, weather spoons is pretty cheap, and you can usually get them for quite a, a little bit. 
You did all the alcohol, drugs and police stuff when you were 17, 18. I cannot imagine that. I cannot imagine that. I heard you say it on your live, on your um, Thursday talks to you that I had, but I just don't, I can't, I can't picture it. I can't picture it at all. But I don't, just, I don't, I don't not believe you. Brewers Fair. Oh yeah. Damn. I'll see what they do. Because if it changes, I'll, I'll end, I'll, you know, I'll end up drinking some cider. Yeah, definitely. I agree, Dave. Yeah, you got to sell some stuff. If we don't sell some stuff this week, guys, then then none of us are going to Bristol by the looks of it. So, yeah, yeah, none of us are going to go to Bristol at this rate. Um, I do hope people are, are going to have some really good, uh, some good sale this week. I haven't booked a hotel either yet, Richard. It's just something I need to get round to. I don't really know where I uh, where I want to stay, to be honest. I don't not believe you once. I do believe you. I just can't can't picture it. It's so strange. Village Hotel, me and Dave are in Bristol. Um Yeah, the Premier Inn is on site and I'm not gonna explain to everyone where I'm gonna stay. I d I, I haven't booked anywhere yet, so I'm not I don't know where I'm is that I'm gonna stay, but I am aware that the Premier Inn is um, on site so if I do intend on drinking a fair bit then at least the Premier Inn somewhere that I can stumble into but I don't know because it starts at two doesn't it it starts at two but I don't think I can get there at two I think I can only get there sort of about four or five o'clock um, so I'll have to come a little bit later anyway um, but yeah I think I think I don't know who is going to get there for what time to be honest so I don't know sleep in the car park I don't think that my car's not comfortable my car's not comfortable I'm sure you could sleep in your car Andrew you're a massive car but then again you are really tall so I'm sure uh, it's just as much as me sleeping in my car Anyway, it's nearly been an hour, so I'm not going to bore you anymore with just talking about a random chit chat. So, yeah, anyway, I'm going to let you all go. Yeah, Andrew is actually genuinely offering pickups from Wolverhampton, bless him. So I think you're picking up Stee as well, aren't you, Andrew? Um, so, but... I say I'm not driving, I'm not leaving till about sort of two, three o'clock to come down. So it's going to take me about two hours to come down. Um, but then I've got to then think about what I'm going to do for dinner. So I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I will let you all go. Like I just said, I've got stuff to do. And again, dogs, children, screaming children, all that. They're currently not about. So everything seems quite quiet at the moment. So I'm going to um, try and get that... Uh, sound video done i've got about 28 items i want to show um i sold a lot more than that but i only like to show some of the bits otherwise i'll be literally there forever talking about all the stuff i sold i only like to show a couple of the bits so if i can get that film today that will be up tomorrow maybe maybe the day after i'm not quite sure depends on how it goes because with my sales video, there's a lot more editing to it because I like to put up the um, profits and all that sort of stuff. So that might take me a little bit longer to edit and get all the figures right for that. So I uh, that might be up tomorrow or the day after. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but yeah, so get, at least get that filmed today and get that done. So anyway, I'll leave it there. Leave it there. Thank you very much for everyone for, um, for coming. It will be up when it's up. Yeah, exactly. It'll be there. But yeah, in the next couple of days, I think. So thank you very much. Um, even though half of it was literally haul and half of it, half of it was chat. But hey-ho. Anyway, thank you very much uh, for watching. And 